in this timeless point of the present, and therein alone man is free, and therefore the true life of man is in the present, and in the present alone. Please continue watching to find out more. Здравствуйте, уважаемые зрители, means hello, dear viewers, in Russian. I am Liev. The peace-loving people of the Russian Federation respect your detailed care for those around you. May we all endeavor to attain and share heaven's unconditional love. Everyone thinks of changing the world, but no one thinks of changing himself. This insightful saying by Leo Tolstoy is a valuable reminder for all of us to reflect inwardly. The renowned 19th century Russian author suggested that we ask ourselves what God really wants us to do, as Leo Tolstoy said. In the name of God, stop a moment, cease your work, look around you. A novel by Tolstoy is not a work of art, but a piece of life, stated Matthew Arnold, a 19th century British poet and critic. In addition to his renowned epic novels, Leo Tolstoy wrote essays and letters that conveyed the spiritual truths he came to realize in life. Along with adopting and promoting the vegetarian diet, he became deeply interested in spirituality and living by the ethical teachings of Christ. The concepts he conveyed through his writings about peace and the fulfillment of God's will greatly influenced 20th century leaders like Mahatma Gandhi and Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. Supreme Master Ching Hai spoke about the uplifting nature of Leo Tolstoy's work during a group meditation session with our association members in July 1997 in Los Angeles, USA. Because Tolstoy was a practitioner, you know? That's why when you read his story, almost a story about spirituality, about God, and very happy, very positive. It's very good to read he, he, him, huh? read his book. You try. If you haven't, you try. You can read more, huh? Such thing is very good for you. We would like to share with you an insightful excerpt from Volume 2 of The Pathway of Life called Living in the Present. Living in the Present People imagine that the course of their life is in time, in the past or in the future. But this is a delusion. The true life of man is not in time but always is in that timeless spot where the past and the future meet and which we inexactly call the present time. In this timeless point of the present and therein alone, man is free and therefore the true life of man is in the present and in the present alone. The true life is in the present. The past is no more. The future has not yet come. What is then? Only that point where the past and the future meet. This is seemingly nothing, yet in that point is the whole of our life. We only imagine that there is time. Time is not. Time is merely a device by means of which we gradually see that which is in reality and which is ever the same. The eye does not see all of a globe at once, yet the globe exists all at once. 
In order that the eye may see the entire globe, the latter must be turned before the observing eye. Even the world revolves before the eyes of man in time. For the supreme reason there is no time, that which will be is. Time and space is the disintegration of the infinite for the convenience of finite creatures. There is no before nor after. That which will happen tomorrow already really exists in eternity. There is neither time nor space. Both are necessary to us only for the understanding of things. And therefore, it is an error to think that speculations regarding stars whose light has not yet reached us or regarding the state of the sun for millions of years are of any consequence. There is nothing important, nothing worthwhile in such speculations. All these things are idle mental diversions. If life is something beyond time, why is it manifested in time and space? Because it is only in time and space that there can be motion that is striving towards expansion, illumination, perfection. If there were no space or time, there would be no motion and therefore no life. The spiritual life of man is beyond time and space. Time exists for the physical life alone, but the spiritual being of man is beyond time. It is beyond time because the activity of the spiritual being of man is only in efforts of the mind. But the effort of the mind is always beyond time, for it is always in the present and the present is not in time. We cannot picture to ourselves a life after death, nor can we remember a life before birth, because we cannot picture to ourselves anything that is beyond time. Yet we know best of all our life beyond time, namely our present life. Our soul is thrown into our body, where it finds numbers, time and space. Meditating upon these things, it calls them nature or necessity, and indeed it cannot think otherwise. We say the time is passing. This is wrong. We are passing and not time. As we sail on a river, it seems to us as though the shores of the river were moving instead of our boat. Even so, it is with time. It is well to remember frequently that our true life is not the outward physical life which we live here on earth before our eyes, but that alongside of this life there is within us another life, an inner and spiritual life which has no beginning and no end. True life is only in the present. The ability to remember the past and to imagine the future is given us only in order to enable us, guided by this or that consideration, to decide more correctly our actions in the present and not to regret the past or build for the future. Man lives only in the present instant. Everything else is either gone or is uncertain of occurring. We worry over the past and spoil our future merely because we pay too little attention to the present. The past is gone, the future is not yet, only the present exists. Our future state will always seem a dream of our present state. Not the length of life, but its depth is of consequence. The important thing is not the duration of life, but how to live beyond time. 
and we live beyond time only by an effort towards righteousness. If we live in this manner, we raise no question of time. Live for a day, live for an age. The meaning of this adage is to live as though any moment you await the last hour of your life and have time to attend only to the most important matters, and at the same time so to live as though you could continue to do without end that which you are doing. Time is back of us, time is ahead of us, but it is not with us. If you dwell on that which had been, or on that which will be, you will lose sight of the most important thing, living in the present. A moment is only a moment. Man so lightly regards the moment as to let it slip, and yet his whole life is solely in that moment. Only in the moment of the present can we make that effort which will take the kingdom of God by force both within us and beyond us. Not tomorrow, but today alone can you overcome evil habits. Nothing is of consequence excepting that which we are doing in the present moment. It is well not to give thought to the tomorrow. To avoid doing so, there is only one means, to think unceasingly whether I am fulfilling the task of the present day, hour and moment. We would like to share with you an insightful excerpt from Volume 2 of The Pathway of Life called Living in the Present. True life is only in the present. When associating with others or when carried away by the thoughts of the past or of the future, it is difficult to realize that your life is right now, in the present moment. But how important and precious it is to remember this. Try to train yourself to do so. Man will avoid much evil if he but train himself to remember that only the present is important in life, that the present alone exists. All else is a dream. The moment you delve in the past or in the future, you have left the present life and you feel orphaned, hampered and lonely. How much moral suffering and all that to die after a few moments? Is it worthwhile to worry? This is untrue. Your life is now. There is no time. The present moment is worth many centuries if in this present moment you live with God. They say man is not free, because everything he does has its own cause preceding it in time. But man always acts in the present, and the present is beyond time. It is merely the point of contact between the past and the future. Therefore, in the moment of the present, man is always free. The divine force of life manifests itself only in the present. Therefore, the activities of the present must have divine characteristics, that is, must be rational and good. A wise man was asked, what is the most important thing? Who is the most important man? And what time of life is the most important? And the wise man replied, the most important thing in life is to love all people, for therein is the concern of every man's life. The most important man is the one with whom you have dealings at the present moment, for you cannot know whether you will ever have dealings with anyone else. But the most important time is the present, for in that alone a man has power over himself.
love is manifested in the present only. The paramount thing in life is love, and you cannot love in the past or in the future. You can love only in the present, now, this instant. Only when you are not guided in your actions by the past or by the future, but by the commands of your soul in the present, can you act in full harmony with love. Love is the manifestation of the Divine Principle, for which there can be no time, and therefore love manifests itself only in the present, now, this instant. Do not think of the future, but endeavor right now to make life joyful to yourself and to others. Let the tomorrow take care of itself. This is a great truth. It makes life worthwhile not to know what is needful for the future. Only one thing is surely needful and is always worthwhile – to love others at the present moment. To love, in general, means to do good. This is how we all understand love and cannot understand it otherwise. And love is not a mere word, but that which we do for the good of others. If a man decides that he must abstain from the demands of the slightest love manifestation in the present for the sake of some greater love in the future, he only deceives himself and others and loves no one but himself. There is no love in the future, love can be only in the present. If a man does not do the works of love in the present, there is no love in him. You seek that which is good, but that which is good can be only now. There can be no good in the future, for there is no future. There is only the present. Never postpone a good deed if you can do it today, for death cannot stop to examine whether you have or have not done what you ought. Death waits for no man, waits for nothing. Therefore, the most important thing for man is that which he is doing at the present moment. If we only remembered more frequently that lost time cannot be returned, that evil once committed cannot be undone, we would do more good and commit less evil. Do not let us delay being just and compassionate. Do not let us wait for some extraordinary suffering, either our own or that of other people. Life is short. Let us therefore make haste to rejoice the hearts of our companions on this short journey. Let us make haste to be good. If you can do a good deed or show love to someone, take heed to do so at once. Otherwise, the opportunity may pass never to return. Good men forget the good they have done. They are so busy about that which they do at the present moment, that they can give no thought to what they did in the past. Life now, at the present moment, this is the state in which God dwells within us, and therefore the present moment is the most precious of all. Make use of all the forces of your soul, so that this moment pass not in vain so that you may not miss God who can be manifested in you. Blissful viewers, thank you for joining us on today's Words of Wisdom. Coming up next is Samba, a symbol of Brazil, part one of two, right after noteworthy news. May your inner wisdom be fulfilled by the highest truth of heaven. Vegan – The Way of Ladies and Gentlemen Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash WOW 